Thank you, Chair. Uh, I'm very conscious that, um, from speaking to many people across the NHS, that um, Black, Asian and, and minority ethnic groups seem to be impacted quite um, heavily uh, within staffing, but also across the community. And of course, that isn't just the nurses and doctors, that's the, the porters, the cleaners, you know, across the, the whole range of, of staff. And of course, at the very uh, front line uh, case of those dealing with COVID cases, uh, the full PPEs being provided. But when we then get the people who are cleaners and, and porters doing those sorts of jobs, which uh, can be uh, dangerous in their own right, depending which wards they're in, um, what sort of things do you think should be looked at to make sure we're really protecting those groups um, who may be more vulnerable? Um, secondly, what is there any more evidence of why they're more vulnerable? And also more broadly, uh, there hasn't been much discussion around um, male versus female, um, people who are overweight and, and so on, who were also seem to be um, uh, uh, particularly targeted by COVID. So I was just interested in the round, what, what your thoughts were on that, how we should tackle it, and any evidence that we're starting to see around those, those particularly vulnerable groups. Oh, sorry, and I'll, I'll, I'm sorry, and I'll, I'll uh, uh, ask Richard Murray on that, please, sorry. Thank you, Dean. <laughs> So, um, uh, if I could take them in reverse order, why, why are BAME staff and um, uh, citizens more vulnerable? Uh, I wish there was an easy scientific answer that you could then base action on. We certainly know that they are. I think there's a there's a there's an ongoing uh, debate about it, is it just a collection of risk factors, instance of things like diabetes? Uh, is it does it relate to um, living sometimes at least in bigger households? Um, but either way, we know that the end result is the same, is that they are at higher risk. That then does feed back into that point around um, the other staff in the hospital sector. I think it also plays into staff working in social care, whether it's in care homes or in domiciliary care. Um, it really does, unfortunately, ratchet up the requirement on PPE and on testing to make sure that if we are testing all the use the phrase clinical staff, the, 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 the staff, nurses, doctors, that we are also treating uh, porters, cleaners, you can't run a hospital without them, um, uh, in exactly the same way as they move in and around the wards and in and around care homes and in and around people's homes providing social care as well. Uh, it does make the ask bigger, but you're absolutely right that they're also providing essential services. They are at risk and equally they can actually transfer the virus themselves. <laughs> 